Good morning. The sun is shining. I'm gonna have my morning iron tablet, which makes me feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, and I've started to have it with orange juice because apparently if you have it with vitamin C, that's how it absorbs into your body. So, and I'm the only one drinking out of this, okay? So, don't get me wrong for that. I meet my friend Holly for breakfast this morning and it was her birthday the other week so i've made her a box of treats so i need to package them up also need to package up a couple of orders to post so i'm gonna do that and then go for breakfast look at the weather gorgeous i do think it's gonna get cloudy later but what else do you expect from the northeast of england some of the goodies i wish these were for me but they are not okay so there's a box for etsy there's Holly's box, yum, and there's a Snickers box for Etsy. Okay, so in each box, I do a little business card and I'll tie a little handwritten gift note to it. So that just says, thank you so much for your order. I hope you enjoy your box of vegan treats. Love, Ellie. And it's just a nice little, little personal touch inside. And this is my business card, if you want to see. I've just changed them recently. I just wanted it to look very chic and minimalist. And then this is the back. And I just make these on Canva. Very cute. So if you want to order, all the details are on there, my darlings. Then I just pop that in the box and it looks very cute. Use this yellow and white twine. Summery, spring vibes. When I first opened, I just sent a few boxes out to my friends and a few like food bloggers that I knew on Instagram, just to make sure that they got there safely and not squished and I know how to package them so they don't get smushed in the box and then they won't move around in there or they shouldn't move around in there unless you get a very heavy-handed postman voila oh it needs one more one more thing well I was gonna put a sticker on but it appears that I've run out so I'll have to order some more of those today I forgot to put the card and the note in so <laughs> let's open it back up Okay, I'm ready to go for brekkie and I'm absolutely bloody starving Marvin. Also, Jamie, my boyfriend, is the chef where we're going for breakfast this morning, so he better make it good. <laughs> Special treatment for mommy. It's very sunny. I might be a little bit warm in this, but I just want to be, I just want to be comfy and I need my sunglasses. Let's hit the road. Get some avo toast in me gob. <laughs> For you, madame. <laughs> Hi, girls. <laughs> Came back. Idea that was. Can I have you on? She was like, because the other day I had said that. And it is hot at night these days. Yeah. Well, yeah. But the duvet is so nice, I definitely wouldn't want to get. We need to get a fan. Mm. I'm so hot at night recently. Mm -hmm. Jamie snores. I'm back home. That breakfast was absolutely delish. Jamie did a very good job. Very delicious mushrooms. And I also had it with chili jam, which I'm, I've asked him to bring some chili jam home because it was the most delicious combo. And now I'm back. I need to do an Etsy order. I have a Snickers box to do. So I'm just going to do that and then perhaps sit in the sunshine or maybe go for a walk or something. Snickers done. They are absolutely gorgeous. Just doing a little face mask and then I'm going to make dinner. I don't know what the fuck to make. I'm feeling very uninspired this evening when it comes to, when it comes to Din Din. I'm using this charcoal one from the, you can't see that. It's called Himalayan charcoal from the body shop and it's very good at getting all the dirt out of your pores. It has little exfoliating bits in, so yeah, it's very good. Condiment reveal. Dinner is veggie sausages, broccoli, sweet corn, pickled onions, roasted peppers, roasted onion, iceberg lettuce, balsamic dressing, rice, did I say rice? Rice and chickpeas. It's buried under there somewhere. And I'm gonna douse this in sweet chilli sauce like I always do. And we're gonna eat that with Lost because we're 15 years behind everybody else in the world. Good morning. I am currently chaotically eating this avocado toast because I've decided last minute that I want to go through, go to a yoga class, but I am literally need to leave in 10 minutes. I'm still in my pajamas, so I'm just chowing down some avocado toast. There's always time for brekkie, okay? 
Mmm, it's actually really good. So I'm gonna eat this as quickly as humanly possible. Probably give myself severe acid reflux and I'll see you soon. Mission accomplished. Okay, we're ready. I think we're gonna make it, so let's go. It is the most gorgeous day. Can you hear the birds? Okay, I have absolutely no time to stop and make you listen to the birds. <laughs> the weather has been so good though the past few days and it's forecast for sun for the next like two weeks. I feel like spring is finally here and I'm a very happy girly about it. When I've booked yoga, I've just booked the yoga class on my phone and it says there's still 17 spaces left. So I am slightly petrified that I'm gonna be the only one there, which I suppose would be like, a cheap one-to-one -one yoga session but still the social anxiety is quivering a little bit so i do hope there's maybe a few other people there sleep how gorgeous being a country bumpkin ain't too bad showered looking drowned rat-esque uh, but yoga was very fun i never film in classes because obviously i don't know whether people want to be in the background or not probably not but i got home a couple of hours ago and i just did a few etsy orders that i had to do should i wear my hair down or should i scrape it back in a ponytail hmm i'm feeling like i want to do the pony Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the ponytail. Okay. Ow! Is this a fantastic tutorial for you guys? Oh, you just can't be a slicked back pony. I think everyone suits a slicked back pony. It just snatches you. You know what I mean? Ow! Okay, we've made it. Smooth it down. Oh, that was hard bloody work. Need a bloody snack after that. Oh. Every so often I will go through a hummus and veggie crudité obsession stage and it has hit me. It's usually when it gets warmer outside because I feel like it's just the best snack ever when it's sunny. I don't know why. It's just crunchy and refreshing but moreish from the hummus, you know what I mean? And sweet chilli is the best hummus flavour. You can fight me on that, but I will win. I just had to film an ad for this granola, which is absolutely delicious. So I made a little yogurt bowl, so I'm just eating it. That's the good thing about filming ads for foods. Whatever you make, you get to eat it afterwards. And I drizzled my favorite salted date almond butter on top. And it's very delish. Very delish indeed. So good. I think I'm going to the beach today. It's gonna be fun.
it is the most gorgeous day. James just getting us some coffees. Whenever the weather is like this, it just makes me realize that I need to move to a hot country. Let me show you the beach. So beautiful. Cheers. This reminds me of traveling. Yeah. We go back. The problem with ice drinks is to the uh, drink way too quick. Yeah, in two seconds. For it. For it. The baby. Like, the baby. And it was foggy. Charlie, I can't wreck you off in front of the baby. <laughs> wreck you off. <laughs> My baby. It's not like it. A voice changes every episode because our accent's so inconsistent. Baby, if that's it, baby. Charlie, they took my baby. Bye. Should you transition? I, was I forget every time. Hello. <laughs> oh, it didn't work. It didn't work. That looks extraordinary. last night because me and Jamie sat and had dinner and watched Lost and then had dessert like we do every single night but today is the day of the week that I do my big order for a cafe just down the road um so this is the current situ so I've got my chocolate caramel donuts on the go some Snickers slices there and then I have to do more chocolate tarts to do and then I also have to do three Etsy orders that I've had come through so yeah I'm very tired this morning this is so wonky. Let me check. There we go. Stay. I'm very tired today. The I can feel the iron deficiency today very strongly. I'm just tired and I have muscle cramps. I don't know if anyone else with low iron gets muscle cramps, especially in their legs. Um, so I think I'm just going to... Oh, I have chocolate on my sleeve. I think I'm just going to finish these and then have a day of doing nothing because... That's what I feel like my body needs. I just need to chill. If your body's telling you that you need to rest, don't feel ashamed to have a day of rest, okay? Guys, the chocolate torts for the cafe are done and there are the donuts. I need to drizzle these with some vegan white chocolate at some point, but I might just do that tomorrow. Then I'm gonna go in the freezer. And then these are the cookies for the Etsy boxes and they get sandwiched with date caramel. Very yummy. Now I'm gonna shower because I am all chocolatey and gross. That's much better. Chocolate free. Okay, I am making summer rolls for my lunch. Also filming it for Tiki Toki. And the first one went, this is good for me. Okay, usually they're disastrous. This is good for me. Yay, there's tofu, carrot, pepper, cucumber, and spicy kimchi in there. Delish. The store. Buy a bottle of hoisin sauce. Look in the fridge. Oh no! I have a bottle of hoisin sauce. Mmm. Yummy. Slay. Just tinting my eyebrows and eyelashes, if you couldn't tell. It's giving Phil Dunphy. The brows always look a little bit crazy when I first wash this stuff off, but it fades in a couple days, so it's okay. But Jamie is out mountain biking tonight, so I have the night to myself. I have dinner in the oven, and I'm just going to watch some YouTube and just chill. I'm going to put my phone away. I don't want to spend the night just scrolling on my phone, so I'm going to shove it in the corner and just have a nice little evening to myself specs are going on because the eyes are a little bit a little bit tired so basically i have one eye one eye is really blurry long-sighted the other one is blurry short-sighted i think yum so we have a fat salad bowl with about a million different things in it has are you ready for this rocket cucumbers olives quinoa roasted chickpeas Roasted red onion, roasted peppers, crispy cauliflower, vegan feta, tahini, and I'm sure there's more in there, but I <laughs> that's all I'm going to rattle off for now, and it looks delish. And it is delish, because I've already had a bite. It's very, very good. I'm going to eat this. 
and watch some YouTube. Fucking devoured. That was a 10 out of 10. Tea and a chucky bar for Pud. I'm home. I went and got chicken and fries. So I've changed clothes about seven times today, but I've just put a little bit of gradual tan on because I just feel a lot better when I have a little bit of colour on me. I feel really anxious tonight all of a sudden. Like, you know when you feel like you have loads of energy trapped in your body and it like is manifesting as anxiety? That's how I feel. It's probably because I didn't leave the house today. I just woke up, started doing that order literally like 10 minutes after I woke up and... Probably should have gone on a walk or something because that always helps me. I notice that when I don't do anything to kind of get, move some energy out of me during the day, it will kind of hit me in the nighttime and it's not very pleasant. I kind of feel like if it was dark outside, I would probably just get into bed and start snoozing now, but it is literally bright bright as day outside and it's eight o'clock which is nice yeah i'm on a massive journey with my anxiety at the minute i had a very rough couple of months but i'm starting to feel better i still have my days and moments where i feel really jittery and the anxiety creeps back in but it's nowhere near as bad as it was um a couple of months ago i am due my period soon and i have pmdd which is very 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 bad PMS to the point where it makes me feel absolutely crazy <laughs> so I have that to look forward to soon but I've been trying to do things over the past couple of months to manage that I have been trying to eat more healthy fats I have been doing really really gentle exercise no exercise really maybe a quick Pilates here and there and a long walk I've been doing yoga, I've been trying to do more active forms of relaxation like breath work, walks, yoga, stuff like that, just trying to manage it. So yeah, I've just really been trying to prioritise rest over the past couple of months and I know I'm very lucky, the job that I have. I can work from home and kind of pick when I decide to work during the day which is a massive massive luxury and i know not everyone has that luxury so i'm very grateful for that i've really noticed over the past couple of months how important it is to prioritize rest and being kind to yourself and being gentle with yourself so if you feel yourself getting burnt out you feel yourself getting anxious and it building up and building up just please take the time to just relax and just give yourself a bit of a break and a rest yeah, I think me and Jamie are going to, there's this place called Wylam Brewery in Newcastle and they hold loads of events there and tomorrow they're doing a Mexican food standoff. So basically all the Mexican food vendors in Newcastle will go and do a few dishes and you can get as many as you want and taste them all and see which is the best and see who does the most delicious taco. So I think we're going to go with that which is very, very exciting because mommy loves a taco. Yes, she does indeed. Well, that's me for tonight and for today. I will see you tomorrow, hopefully for tacos. Good morning. I did not have the best sleep. I just felt really anxious when I was trying to get to sleep and I kept waking up all night. But the sun is shining this morning, which helps. I today just have to pack up and post a few Etsy boxes. I also have to post a reel that I've done for a brand at 11 o'clock, so I can't forget to do that. And then we're going for tacos, which is music to my ears. I also had a dream about Olivia Neal's boob job last night. In the dream, she revealed her new boobs to me and they looked absolutely fantastic, so. Good dream. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make brekkie. I don't know what I want. Maybe scrambled tofu, or maybe a yogurt granola bowl, or maybe just avocado toast because that's just easy. Hmm, decide for me.
Go on, mummy matcha. Trying your first matcha. Delicious. Mm. Do you like it? Very nice. Is it sweet enough? Okay, just boxing up the Etsy orders. This is two of the ultimate vegan dessert boxes. White chalky slice, snicker slice, two caramel sandwich cookies, and two peanut butter jam chocolate cups. Yum. Okay, I'm ready. I think I'm gonna wear this. My mom found this necklace and gave it to me this morning. It's so cute. This top was £2.95 from a charity shop. And a skirt, and so hard to show you. The little boots. Although I might change into trainers, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna take my There's a wasp on my camera. Right now, there is a wasp on my camera. Fuck off. Leave. Not welcome here. Leave. It's gone. I'm not gonna bring my camera because I've just realized it's on one bar, so it's probably gonna run out of battery. So I'm just gonna get some clips on my phone. Okay, I've changed my top, but let's go. If there's one thing I learned filming this, it's that it's extremely humbling watching yourself chow down a taco. But yesterday I went to this Mexican food event and ate copious amounts of food and it was so good. We started with this crispy vegan fish taco and it was fucking delicious. It was banana blossom, battered banana blossom and it tasted so much like cod, it was crazy. Then we got these mushroom birria tacos. Again, these were delicious. These were so messy, but I just think messy food adds to the fun and makes it taste even better. These were filmed to the very brim. Guac was slopping all over the place, but it was a great time. I had a lot of fun. 10 out of 10 would eat again. And the mushrooms were very succulent and delish. Then I ordered this cauliflower one thinking it would be a taco, but it was actually a toasted focaccia sandwich with like a spicy tomato dip. Not what I expected, but it was very delicious and nice to have something a bit different. Very good. 8 out of 10. And then again, ordered this thinking it would be a taco, but it was actually some jalapeno cheesy hash brown. This was insane, maybe my favorite thing that I ate this day. It was so delicious, so crispy. It tasted just like deep fried cheesy mashed potato. It was divine and the sauce that was on it, insane. I was hoping to get a little margi, a little salted rim margarita while I was here, but there was none there, which was very disappointing. And then dessert when we got home, obviously.